Today I'm going to show you how to remove a background color from a logo file using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. I have a logo file open in Photoshop. This is a high-res JPEG file. It's best to use high-resolution files when removing backgrounds. It's just going to make it easier and um, a lot cleaner to um, remove the background. So to get started, I want to have my layers panel showing and I want to first duplicate my background so I'm not working on the background layer. So to do that, I'm just going to click and drag down to the plus sign to make a copy of my background layer. You can also right click and say duplicate layer. And I'm going to turn that background layer off. So we are working on the top layer and I'm going to select that top layer I want to remove everything that is white in this logo. So I want to remove all this background. I want to remove it in between all the letters and I want to remove the white background inside my logo shape. So to do that, I'm going to use what's called the magic wand tool in Photoshop. This tool is great. It does a lot of the work for you. So all I'm going to do with this tool is just click into the white section and it has now selected a lot of what it sees as white in this image. You can see the little marching ants. You zoom in. I am going to now just hit the delete key and what that does, it removes that white background. You see this texture back here. This indicates that it's transparent. That looks pretty good. There are some sections that did not get selected though in between my letters and inside this logo, I also want to remove that. Next, I need to deselect my selection. So I'm going to go up here to select, deselect. And now let's select these individual sections. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to select in between some of these letters and just hit delete. And again, this is a fairly high resolution logo, so it's doing a really good job of selecting and then let me hit inside this icon, deselect. You can also deselect with command D. It's a fast shortcut to do it. That logo now has the background completely removed. And now I can test this. The way I can test it in Photoshop to make sure it did a good job, I can add a new layer. I'm going to move this layer underneath my logo that I just edited. And I'm going to add a couple background colors to this. So let me go down to my swatches. And let me just pick like a gray or something kind of neutral. And I'm going to use the paint bucket to just paint a background layer. So now I can just double check that all the white has been removed. And I can zoom in here. And overall, this looks pretty good. This, it did a great job on these letters down here. You know, there's a little bit of like a halo effect around some of this. So if you really wanted to get granular, the next step would be to select that logo file again. And you can use the Polygon Lasso tool is one of my favorite tools. And you can really get detailed around here and select any remaining white in your logo and just get rid of it. I'm not going to get into that today. I think this did a really good job. I'm going to delete this background color layer that I created. I don't need that. If I wanted to save this for print, Let's say I wanted to put this logo on a brochure with a background photo or something along those lines. You would save this as a Photoshop file. So you could go file, save as, save it as a Photoshop file, which is a .psd. And now this file can be used in high resolution print pieces. You can also save this as a PNG to be used on websites. File, export, save for web. I can choose PNG from the drop down and save this to my computer. 
That's how you remove a background color from a logo file in Photoshop. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks in Adobe programs. Thanks so much.